Greetings and salutations, Johnny Mac, Lock and Metal Plus. Here I am with another video. Um, bit of a cheeky um, unboxing one. Okay, we got two things to unbox. The first is um, new, came out this year. This is the Triumph of Death live album. Resurrection of the Flesh, recorded live, 2023. Uh, limited edition deluxe book pack. Um, obviously, is the Hellhammer songs performed by Tom G. Warriors, Triumph of Death. Uh, first ever the official live release as a deluxe red vinyl book pack with a bonus seven inch single. Uh, includes 24-page book with photos and liner notes, two posters and band photo print, concept art by Tom G. Wallier. So that's the back. It's shiny, but it's still got the shrink on it. That's the band. Let me just move the lighty thing. That's a bit better, is it? Okay, cool. So let's get the shrink off it. So that is out of the sink. Gorgeous artwork. It's the back again, the band. Let's have some wax. Book stuff. Where's the seven inch single by the looks of it? Should we get that out? Bear with me. Single with uh, etching, screen print, or whatever on the back of it, which is very cool. Uh, just got decapitated on it. Not any better? I don't know. Anyway, that's a seven inch single. Which is cool. Put that back in there. Yep. Yeah. So that came in there. There's the book. Um, Okay, that's one album. Two, six. Another one. That's a lot. What's in that? Okay, bear with me because this is fucking awkward, mother. Ah, these are the posters. One. There's nothing. There's nothing. I don't know if you can see, but these are really awkward to get into and to get stuff out of without nipping the bloody things. Ah, oh, plenty in here. There we go. It's the band pick. Not sign them, I think, but anyway. Still cool. Um, it's limited, I don't know. It doesn't say what it's limited to. Do you want to see the posters? Of course you do. There's one. Cool. Um, I was lucky enough to see Triumph for Death last year at UK Death Fest. Uh, and they're fucking awesome. One of the reasons I wanted this. It's a really, really good live. Uh, that's just the album artwork. There we go. And yeah, that's that. And I'll slot back in their little house. Yeah, which is like an album store. There's nothing else in here. I can't see it, which is. Not the best, to be honest. It's going to be a long fucking unboxing. Mm. Uh, long, awkward. You know, I'll put these fuckers back later. So, so this is obviously uh, one of the
not by the way. Um, all the YouTube usual stuff. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and all that. We're listening to that in the background, which is Sayor, uh, Scottish funky black metal. Great shit. Um, this is the other record. Oh, this one is pretty much the same. So there you say B. Yeah, it's got black logo. White on that side. I'll go to the tracks in a second. Paper sleeves. There you go. that uh, very cool um, tracks include the third of the storms uh, massacre maniac blood insanity decapitator crucifixion leaper hours of Glesser, Revelations of Doom, Messiah, and Visions of Mortality, and track D is, uh, and side D has just got Train for Death on it, which is, you know, little Hellhammer demos and shit, because they didn't actually bring out any proper albums, or did they? Hmm. Are oh, they all demos? I can't remember. Anyway, I've got the, I've got one, I'm sure I've got one full length. And that's just a pack of demos, or are they just demos together as a full length? Oh, I can't remember. Of course, I've not done any fucking notes. That would mean I was organised, and I'm not organised, as you probably know. But the other one... <sighs> ...is this. Which, oh, the whole light is well shined, as usual. Uh, this is the Ishan. And what's it called? Uh, Hyperborean Collection... 2006 to 2021 limited edition i think it's a thousand of them this is number 388 see a hype sticker there mm -hmm. so yeah that's uh, pick this up for them uh, i think this was the least as it says there 2021 uh, there it is. let's get the shrink off it All the studio output. There we go. That comes off like that. That's just the back of the names of all these albums. The spine fell. Might not be better than that. Was a little bit high, maybe. A little bit better, maybe. Uh, no. No. So that's how it comes out. There's the box. Now top bottom. So as you can see, there's quite a few albums there and a book. This is the book. A huge thing. Design for all these, the, the design for these albums was done by a guy that I know called Dan Cat. Um, 
been speaking to him online recently and he popped round to my house. I bought an album off him. He's on Discogs, but um, he's also on um, he's played guitar for Wayfarer. Um, I too. He's cursed currently. This is this indication. That's the adversary. Not in a little paper sleeve, but there you go, what can you do? Next up, well, oh, seems to be double. This is Angel. Clear as well, as you know, all clear. is after it's a little double album with two singles but they're all clear so I'm not going to take them all out because I'm stupid paper sleeves and we all hate these um, will I eventually stick them in a poly? probably they'll bug the hell out of me I'm not going to take them out because they're all clear um, did I mention Isham was obviously in an emperor? Probably didn't, sorry. This is solar work, obviously. Oh, what's this one called? Ellen Meter? Yeah. Ellen Meter. Another double. Not one at a time again. The date fold. So there's like 14 records in here, and I think it's nine albums in total. Everyone's obviously the same. I'm not going to show you. Next, uh, we've got. Daz Seelan Blecken. It's obviously Norwegian, so not obviously, because we all know that Isham is Norwegian and obviously Emperor of the Norwegian. Symphonic black metal. So it's all clear by also. Paper sleeves. <laughs> Best to get back in, as we all know. There we go. Next. Arctis. I've got to admit, I don't know how close they are to the original. I think they've been redesigned somehow. I said, I know Dan did them. So I asked him if he did them. He said, yes, I did. There's something actually not quite like them, but he wouldn't tell me what it is because I don't know the original. So I don't know the difference. So, um, I did some of the design work for the bag. And there's some, there's some stuff when he came out of this. It's a design for some of his later stuff. I can do it for 
plastic head anyway. Like this. This is a move, a man, a man. Go. This is Telemark. My music has stopped because there's only a couple of tracks on it. It's a single. It's a single. Last is Ados. Just uh, there you go. So I've got to admit, I know uh, I don't know this catalogue at all, but I thought I'd pick it up and get them all in one go. Um, I'll probably come back and tell you about them, what I thought of them. Um, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, tell me that I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about because I don't. I'm learning all the time, like we all are. There's no one out there that knows fucking everything. Well, probably is, but... There's just too much fucking music out there. We know as much as we know about the bands we like, and we learn about new shit. Um, yeah. Um, trying for Death One. I'm looking forward to listening to that. As I said, I've, I did see them live last year. They're fucking great, so looking forward to that. And as I said, the Sea Shan stuff, I'm maybe looking forward to digging into the this box set. So yeah, there we go, uh, Hyperion, did we say? Hyperborean collection. So tell me if you like all of them, if you like some of them, if it's all shite. Uh, I know some of it's quite progressive, apparently. As I said, I'm guessing it doesn't sound at all like fucking Emperor. But, mate, I'll dig into it and I'll let you know what I think. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters. Uh...